Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a Pansy Petals tea light treat box. So this box will hold four tea lights in it. I've done a box similar to this many times over. I'm just making it modern with this beautiful paper and the gorgeous dies. Now this isn't stamped, this is die cut, but I'll show you that in a bit. So you need a piece of paper that is seven and three quarters by five inches. Now, this had a repeating pattern. It didn't matter which way round I cut it, but you need the pattern to be the correct way up in landscape. So uh, horizontal as opposed to like that. This is the way you need your pattern so that it, it you're not going to have sideways pansies and flowers and stuff. So seven and three quarters by five and a quarter inches, 19 and a half by 14 centimeters. And on the long side, score it at three quarters of an inch and seven inches, which is two and seventeen and a half. Then on the short side, score it at three quarters of an inch, two and a quarter, three and four and a half inches, which in metric is two, six, eight and twelve centimetres. So very pretty paper. I love the busyness of this one. Let me bring that in again. They're all sort of reasonably plain on the other side, which is quite nice. It means you've got options. I mean, I love the fact that we have double-sided paper anyway. But if, you know, pansies weren't your thing, but stripes were, go for it. Okay, so I think you're probably going to see that side better. So I've got six little squares and I'm going to cut straight down the rect rectangle and wedge into the square. And that was a bit like my 321 box from a couple of weeks ago. Or was that last week? I don't remember. So I'm just cutting the rectangle straight and then wedging the square so that I get this these nice little tabs. I'll just do that all the way around. So leave a comment if you have bought this paper or any of this suite. Just leave a comment saying I bought some Sam and I love it or I bought some Sam and I'm waiting for it to arrive because the catalogue only went live a week ago. <sighs> Oh, I hope this is on camera. I've had to, somehow my camera has been changed into its permanent, from its position. I have a permanent setup and somehow my camera has gone into the wrong position because my grid paper is that far away from the edge of my desk, whereas normally it's about that far. Don't know what's happened. Right, let's get some Seal Plus. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Seal Plus into each of these six tabs. And why does that not want to come off onto that one? That's weird. It doesn't want to. Yeah, <laughs> there it goes. Right. So which way round is the right way round? So that is going to be the top of my box. This one here. So I'm going to create a. I can't speak. Create that bit first so that's the top of my box and then the other two tabs are going to go into what will be the bottom of the box okay so that's the top and I've got four tea lights from, the, from my drawer. They're a little bit battered. But I was trying to pick a couple of colours that would suit this lovely pale papaya, which I'm going to be picking out, but it doesn't want to play. So there you go. Four tea lights in there just nicely. Right, pale papaya. It's sort of peachier than that, but that's okay. And... I rather like it. When you have a brand new ribbon and you can't see the end, there it is. Is it going in that direction or that direction though? 
I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what? It never takes me this long to get... There we go. That off a ribbon. Apparently to say it is. There's the end. Um, nice ribbon that doesn't want to play today. There we go. That's a very soft, it's almost ivory. Yet when you see it together like that, it's very orange. Oh, focus on me, not everything in the background. There we go. It's very orange there, but when you take it away, it's very, very pale. But gorgeous, nevertheless. Right, totally going to cheat now. So this is one of the other sheets of paper from that pack. So again, quite neutral on the back. And I want one of these lovely little pale papaya ones. Although, is that the pale papaya? Is it that one or that one? But I'm taking this one anyway. So I'm going to be a complete philistine. You're all screaming, going, what is she doing? That's what I'm doing. I'm cutting that out my little mini machine and my plates and my dies oh I need two of them oh that's fine I need the little one too I have a little one as well <laughs> you're all screaming going what she's wrecking it and we can cut the outlines with the pansy dies you can create an embossed and detailed pansy yourself. I just, you know, somebody's done the artwork for me. I'd be daft not to use it. So I'm getting some post, I'm trying to get some post-it notes. These are the flimsiest post-it notes in the world. I got them from Primark about two years ago. <laughs> They've sat in my drawer. And I wouldn't have said that they're the highest stick I've ever come across. They're very, very thin. But they're serving a great purpose here for me today. And they're cute, you know, it's Mickey Mouse. Look at that. Perfectly die cut shapes. Let's put those away because they're small. Don't want to lose those. And I'm going to come along and pop these on my project with some dimensionals. I have pansies in my garden right now. It's about the only thing I can actually grow. It's because they do their own thing. Oh, I need another post it now. Another, another dimensional. I managed to successfully stick that directly to the ribbon. <laughs> Actually, I was trying to stick it to the box. Yes, I have I have pansies and violas in my garden. I don't have to do anything with them. They do their own thing. It's great. Right, so there you go. My two projects, absolutely, utterly adorable. I think they're lovely. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.